Floss Tube. Welcome to Creative Limbs Studio. Welcome guys, I have a special edition for you folks that like punch needle. I took my Dancing with the Stars punch needle and I punched it in six different ways, okay? And I wanna talk about each one of them. I've always wanted to test out one strand, six strand, I wanted to try the dimensional, so I did all of that. And here are my results. So the middle piece at the top, the middle one, was done with three strands with the CTR needle with the called for colors. I don't know. Let me see if I can turn this light on, if that will make a difference. Ooh, it makes me really bright. Before I get into that, I just have to say, today in Michigan is stupendous it is probably 65 70 degrees sunny light light breeze birds are singing absolutely glorious and i don't want to be working today because when it's like this especially early spring and you you know just want to be outside in the beautiful weather it's really hard to work on those days also i want to explain my shirt a little bit <laughs> it says brave enough for a shot this was from Gabby's bachelorette party weekend uh, that I had in Tennessee recently. I stayed with my friend Kristen and her daughter's bachelorette party. Kristen had rented this house in Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg, yeah. Anyways, we all had like these shirts and everyone said something different and we had Mickey ears on. Walking downtown Gatlinburg. It was fun, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was about to put some more glasses on y'all, what do you think? Oh Lord. Okay, I'm gonna. Tr I turned that light on, hoping it would show these a little bit better. See, it turns dark on me. I don't know why it does that. Okay, so the middle one is the called for colors, and that is done with the CTR needle with three strands. Then the second one I did is this beauty, and it was done with one strand. Let me just tell y'all something. It took me six hours to do this tiny little two by two, uh, maybe it's three by three, three by three little punch needle because it was one strand. So this is my, what I determined basically from that is this. There's no reason to do one over one. Oh my gosh, one over one, that's cross stitch. <laughs> There's no reason to punch with one strand unless you're doing a small, let's say you're just doing his little face for making a brooch or a pin or something tiny, teeny, small. Or if you're just wanting to get, like if you're doing a, like this as a flower and there's lots of shading, I could see doing one strand then. But for my patterns, the only time I would do one strand is for the nose, for instance. The nose on this one, I think, turned out the best compared to all the other noses. So if you want fine detail, the one strand is great. Uh, the colors I used on that was the Snowman is Fawn by Weeks Dye Works. The navy blue background is Fathom, Weeks Dye Works. The light blue is Dolphin by Weeks Dye Works. All right, what's my other note? Outline everything, okay. Then I did this one with the red background, and that is six strands, and I don't like that. I don't like that on this small of a piece. Having said that, 
if I was doing, which I may start doing this and putting it in my notes on my patterns. If I was doing a large pattern that had a lot of background, I don't see why doing six strands isn't a viable solution just to fill it in quickly. But like his little twig arms, his nose, the stars, and those swirls look much better in the one strand or the three strand. Okay. Then this little dude, oh, I forgot to say the colors. So the red here, this is, I did this in khaki. No, no, no. Yeah. 055 khaki mocha. That's um, classic color works. The background is 3777 of DMC. And then the swirls and the, hold on, the swirls. The swirls are straw. I didn't write down what that yellow is. Maybe the yellow is straw. I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't write that down. Shame on me. So then the next one I punched was this guy. Well, the only thing different with him is he is three strands, but I wanted to make him dimensional and I completely forgot because I was really engrossed in a TV show and I just kept punching away. And I got a lot of the snowman done and realized I didn't change out the little thing, the little plastic, uh, what do you call it? The little plastic tube. I'll show you in a minute on my needle. But anywho, so he's basically just a different colorway. So I'll tell you what I used on that. I used 1229 Chickpea. That's Weeks Dye Works. That's for the stars. And the little swirls. I used Classic Color Works 244 Hayride for the background, which I absolutely am in love with that one. And then the snowman itself is 33. No, no, no. The snowman itself is 3866, and then the hat in his arms is uh, DMC 3371. So the snowman's DMC 3866, as well as the hat and his twig arms, DMC 3371. Okay. Then we went to make a dimensional piece for reals this time. So the, I'm still using my CTR on that one. That is three strands. The background and the swirls are in one at one level. And then I took that little tube, little plastic tube, like maybe one eighth of an inch off of my CTR needle. And then I punched the snowman, his hat, nose, eyes, all of that. And then the stars as well. So, the reason I didn't finish the middle, well, number one, I ran out of the floss. But I wanted to show you the difference. For this one here, I used one skein of DMC to fill in that snowman, all that white. In here, I used one skein of DMC to fill in the white snowman. Look how much I did not get done because the loops are longer. So look how much is missing just by taking off that little piece on my needle. So I thought that was interesting. So I wanted to be able to show that to you. Then the very last one that I did this morning, I made that one with the ultra punch needle. And so let me, okay, hold on. Let's back up. I forgot to give you the colors on that blue one. So the snowman is 712 DMC. Uh, the green in there is Weak Style Works Guacamole. And the blue background, the swirls, that is, um, God, I gotta get on the right one, I'm sorry. The swirls, that's darker. That is Fathom from Weeks Dye Works. And then I filled in the lighter blue background with DMC 317. Okay. Now, this one, let me just give you the colors first because I keep forgetting. 
So that one I use DMC 613 for the snow. The snowman, I end up doing his arms the same color as the snowman because I could not find a color that would pop. And I didn't want the color too dark because then it would look like the stars and the swirls and I just thought that looked kind of corny. So I did his little twig arms white as if they're covered in snow. So it's all good. And then I used DMC 3021 for the dark brown. Whoops, the dark brown for the swirls and the stars. And then I used, I filled in with that gold color. That is one, two, two, three, Weeks Dye Works Schneckley. Now I don't know if you can tell that he's dimensional. I punched three rows. Okay, so I started with the snowman. I punched three rows here, three rows here, and three rows here with it set at number one. Then I change it to number two on the ultra punch. I'll show you that in a minute, how you do that. And then I did three rows, three rows, three rows. And then I switched it to number three. And then I did three rows, three, you know, and I did that and I every three rows I switched it up a notch to make the loops longer. So let me turn it like this and maybe you can get a feel for how dimensional that is. I'm not sure that you're going to be able to tell. When I get these off of here and I actually make something with them, you might be able to see it better. But anyway, he's quite dimensional. See how he's sticking up? This is my takeaway from all that nonsense. I will continue using the CTR. I really struggled with using the Ultra Punch and I think it's because the shaft, the metal shaft is quite a bit bigger around than the CTR. And I had a hard time getting it to go through my fabric and come back out without it just hanging on to that fabric. The CTR just glides in and out like butter. I don't know. That is just my experience. Just saying. So that's number one takeaway. Number two takeaway. I will always use three strands. It seems to work the best. However, I do think I'm going to add in and put in my notes on my punch needle as I go forward. If I do switch out to using just one strand to get fine detail, on something, I will point that out in my directions. So I, I think there's there's opportunity to use one strand, but for the most part, so far, I have how many designs do I have? I don't even know to be honest, but I have a ton. I've been designing for 15 years of punch needle, and I've always used three strands, and I think everything looks really pretty. And my other takeaway is the dimensional piece. Uh, I like the dimensional piece that I did in the center where just the snowman the, and the stars are a little bit higher than the background. I like that look. I wasn't crazy about this dimensional piece that I did with the Ultra Punch. I think it's just too much. But it was my first time doing it. So I plan on trying it again, but using the CTR and I plan on trying to do another dimensional piece. I don't know when though. That is my takeaway. Now here's another thing I want to bring up. I want you all to tell me which one of these you like the best. I am going to fill this guy in, of course. <laughs> he looks really weird without being filled in. But I'm going to take pictures of each one of these. And so at the end of this video, Though I'll have a picture of each one with a number, and I want you to vote on which one you like the best. Whichever one receives the most vo votes will be the one that I give away. I will make it into an ornament, I will make it into something, and then I will do a drawing. Everybody that comments will be in the drawing for winning one of these as an ornament, okay? I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I use to put my weaver's cloth on when I do my punching because I know that question is going to come up. I've talked about it before, but maybe you didn't see that video, so I want to tell you again. This is, what size is this one? This is a six, 12 by 16? Yes, this is a 12 by 16 stretcher bar 
for pull, for stretching canvas for an artist. I buy these on Amazon. I'll have a link below where you can get your very own. I love the 12 by 16 size and I'll tell you why. Because all of our weaver's cloth that we include with all of our patterns for punch needle has a, what is it, 13 by 15 piece of weaver's cloth in it. So it fits perfectly on this size stretcher bars. So if you buy a pattern from us, you can get, if you're doing something small, look, I have six on there and I still had plenty of room around it. If you're doing bigger pieces, you might be able to get one here and one there. So it just conserves your uh, weaver's cloth. And I staple it to it and it doesn't budge. It doesn't move the entire time. Most of my punch needle that I have, you know, punched for my models, because I do all of my own punching for my models. And years and years and years, I used a Morgan hoop. But I found the solution, I don't know, maybe four years ago, and this is all I use now. And I just use a regular stapler and staple my weaver's cloth on there. I even did a video somewhere on my channel here if you want to look for that. Uh, it should be easy to find. Just, just type in the search punch needle and it should come up. So that's what I use for punching. Now I just want to show you the needles that I was talking about and how I change the look. Here's the three strand, the one in the center. That was used, that was made, excuse me, using the CTR three strand needle. Okay. This one, done with one strand, was done with the blue CTR needle. That is the one strand needle for CTR. There it goes. Okay. This one that was created with six strands, that one was done with the six strand CTR needle, which is black. Hopefully that's focusing. It doesn't look like it is. But anyway, you can just tell that it's wider. There we go. Okay. Now, when I did this guy here in the center, I don't know if you can see that it is raised a little bit. Oh, you can kind of see it there. See how the snowman and the stars and the hat and his his little twig arms, that is all raised up a little bit more than the background. So how I achieved that was I punched, I took this little red, see this little red thing here? I took that off and then, this is my three strand again, and I punched the snowman, the stars, in his arms and his hat. Then I put this little thing back on and I punched the background. And so by having that on, it makes those loops shorter. Okay. So you can achieve the same thing that I did with that ultra punch because you can take, see, there's more of them on here. Those little, they're like little rubbery, I don't even know what you call them. Extenders? I don't know what the technical name of them. I don't know what it is. But if you buy the threader accessory kit for the CTR, you will get a tube. Even the one strand, look at all these different and that's how you would make dimensional pieces by moving the, taking these off and then putting them on. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope it's not too muddy and unclear for you. 
So with the CTR, you can either buy the needles in the haystack where you get all three needles, you get a bunch of uh, threaders, all the things, plus this, it's called, this is called the haystack, has a magnet on it so that you can put your threader on there and you don't lose it, okay? And you keep your scissors in there and everything, so it's really nice. This is what I rely on. You can also buy each needle separately if you say, oh, I'm never going to use the six strand. I just want the one strand and the three strand. You can buy those separately as well. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Ultra Punch needle. So when you get your, so the Ultra Punch, let me hold that up again, because I think now that I have it this way, you'll be able to see the dimension a little bit better. So when I hold him kind of to the side on an angle, can you see the dimension for him? There we go. See how the center of him kind of sticks out. The snow is sticking out further. He's, he's dimensional. There you go. When you get your Ultra Punch, it comes with the three strand inside of it. And how I made that piece was I had it set on one and then I punched three, basically around the three uh, balls that make up the snowman. Then I moved it over to number two. I went around three more times. Let me zoom in. Then I went over here and I went to number three. And then I punched three more times. Then I went over to number four. And I, I think that was the last one I did that filled in the center. But I mean, it goes all the way up. So here, here's number one. Look at the, how long the needle is, okay? So number two goes up a little bit more. Number three, are you watching the edge of the needle? No, you aren't because you can't see it. Let me back up now. Okay, back up. One. Two, three, four. See how that needle's getting longer? That's going to make longer loops. Five. It goes all the way up to 12. I don't know what on earth you would make with it on 12, but look how long that needle is. <laughs> it's like a weapon at that point. And then when you're done and you're not using it, you can just sink it all the way back and it locks. To change out your needle, if you want to change out your needle, and let's say you want to put in the six strand, you got a big area, you want to fill in quick, so you just take it and you turn it like that, you pull this out, and there's a spring in there, you don't want to lose that spring. So to take this apart, all you do is twist and pull. I'm grabbing the six strand needle. Oh, it has plastic on the end of it. There we go. So that goes in, and then you turn it, and now that's in there. You put the spring on. You put it back in. There it's closed. There it's on one. When I learned punch needle, I learned on the ultra punch, and I did everything on a one. I just prefer the shorter loops. Something else I wanted to mention is when you are punching with six strands, you don't have to have your rows as close together. Because think about this, when your needle goes into the fabric and comes back out, it leaves loops on the other side of your fabric. Six strands poofs out a lot, so you don't have to have your rows super close together. You have a little bit more leeway there. When you're punching with one strand, there's only one little thread on that other side. That's why it took me six hours to do the one strand because I'm covering the same surface area, but I had to do way more punches in order to fill it in. That's why the one strand is good just for fine detail work, but I just recommend doing three strand pretty much on everything unless you have a huge area that you can fill in with six strands because it will go faster that way. I think that's all I wanted to mention. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If it's something I can answer in the comments, I will. If I get enough questions, I might just do another video. So again, 
Stay tuned at the end. I'm going to have pictures of each one of them. I want you to vote. All you have to do is give me the number of which one you liked the best and that one will become a giveaway for the people that commented on this video only. It will not be in my regular Floss 2 video. So thanks you guys for spending a little bit of time with me today and learning some more about Punchino. We'll see you. Bye.